should be careful. Your people. What? You dead? We're being framed. Hi guys, my name is Naz Perez and you're watching the big ticket interview for Bad Boys Ride or Die. Mm -hmm. My friends. Naz. Naz. Mm. Well, it's crazy to think that it's been almost 30 years that the both of you just proved everybody wrong. <laughs> like I was looking up the infancy of this franchise and mm. originally producers wanted Dana Carvey, John Lovitz to yeah. play these characters. Yeah, that would have been very different. Very different. different. different Michael, <laughs> Michael Bay was trying to convince Hollywood that this movie should even be made because he mm. said that at the time, a movie with two black leads hadn't yeah. been successful worldwide yet. Yeah. And then in 95, you guys did Bad Boys and the rest was history. It made over 75 million. And what's mm -hmm. so wild to me about that story is that the both of you weren't who you are now back then. Right. Like it was mm. your first action blockbuster mm. and what you mean to people today, I think is really hard to put into words. Like my dad still says, oh my goodness, in Shanene's voice. <laughs> so <laughs> not only are you both, <laughs> not only are you both globally recognized mm. in part thanks to these movies, but so is this 80s song from a Jamaican reggae I know, band. So I wanted crazy. to start this conversation off by asking the both of you a question we've been hearing since 1995, but mm -hmm. I don't think we've gotten a verbal official answer to you. Mm -hmm. What exactly do bad boys do when they come for you? So it, we keep it as a surprise. Mm. That's how we maintain the element of surprise. Got it. You never know what bad boys gonna do when they come for you. But it's gonna be good when they do it. Yes, exactly. Good, well, good and bad. <laughs> yeah. Good and bad. Pen and pawn your behavior. <laughs> wow, I love it. No, it's true. And what's cool is that in Ride or Die, you guys are on the run. I so know, the audience yeah. actually gets to find that out in this film. But what I loved about this movie is that what hasn't changed out of all four of them is mm. that Marcus and Mike always have each other's backs. And when I think mm. back to the 90s and 2000s, when I was watching these, it was all about being hard, right? Like no one wanted to be perceived as soft. Mm. And yet here were these two police officers saying, I love you to each other in an yeah. earnest way and really feeling like soulmates. Mm -hmm. Martin, Marcus alludes to soulmates in the film, but because you've known Will Smith for so long, do you feel like you were tethered to him in a past <laughs> life? And if so, what do you think the relationship dynamic was? Do I know him in a past life? <laughs> no, but the, the will that I know now, I love. Yeah. You know, he's, he's just a good brother. No. And, uh, that was know. one of the things on the first day we were shooting, and you know, it was hard for, for us to get it. And you know, we had, we had the strike, then it was looming, all of that stuff. So it was like getting this movie going, we were like pushing really hard. Right. And Martin stopped me on the first day, and he was like, hey, hey, Come here. And I said, what? He said, I just want you to know I love you, man. Right? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, all love, brother, all love. He said, no, 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 right here. And I looked and he was like, I love you, man. You know? And I was like, <laughs> All right, yeah, cool, 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 <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> do you think you were yeah. tethered to Martin in a past life? And what do you think you guys were? Yeah, you know, it, it's um, that idea of like soul constellations, you know, I, I, uh, there, there might be something to that. And it, if, the, if it is true at all, we, were, we have definitely been together for a long time. Yeah. We've been together for a long time. And it's like, you know, he really made a point on this film of like, stopping mm. and saying, we're going to enjoy this and we're going to enjoy our time together. We're not rushing past this mm -hmm. like we did in the previous uh, movies. And I wow. really appreciated that. He was like, every day was stopping and you know, like, hey man, we are happy and lucky and wow. blessed to be here together. And let's just not yeah. run past it. I love that. We're real focus. we're real focus on getting the best. Yeah, for sure. Well, you did. And it feels like you guys were brothers in a past life or something. You mm -hmm. can feel your chemistry and connection to me viscerally through the screen. Mm -hmm. Even off screen, like I've seen the birthday video tributes you've made to yeah, Martin. I love that you're I'm an Aries yeah. and a Libra. Yeah. I'm yeah. an Aries mm -hmm. and like they get along so well. Is there a moment in the entire franchise that you think just really encapsulates or defines this whole experience and friendship for you? Like, Will, what day on set on any Bad Boys film, did you realize Martin was your ride or die? Yeah, you know what? It was really from the first moment of this franchise. Martin was the only person who really wanted me in the first Bad Boys, right? So everybody else had all their other ideas and everybody else, 
you know, I think Eddie was one of the, mm -hmm. you know, major considerations and stuff like that. But Martin was the first person. He was like, no, it's, it's Will. I want to make this with Will. So from day one on this, this movie, he was my ride or die. Mm, that, that's such a beautiful moment. What about for you, Martin? Is there a moment in any Bad Boys film that you realized Will was your ride or die? One. Mm -hmm. um, Bad Boys one. You know, and then when we started working together, and then I see how good he was. I was like, yeah, we made the right choice. <laughs> made the right choice. Was there something he did or a moment, you know, that you witnessed that you realized how good he was? Just his acting, just his, just how he commits. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, um, he, he don't play around. Mm -hmm. He don't, he don't play around with his craft. Yeah. You know, he, he he, when, when he gives you, he's giving you it, his all. He's giving, giving you 110%, you know, and uh, I just love that about him. It's the best to have, like, a scene partner that does that. And you guys have yeah. so many good scenes together. One of my mm -hmm. favorites is in the third movie, Mike saves Marcus under his phone as quitter. And it made <laughs> me want to ask you, what do you guys have each other saved in your phone as? I just have Will's number in my phone, <laughs> and I text him all the time. Yeah, my, you don't have him saved as Will? Yeah. I have him saved as Will Smith. Yeah. Oh, okay. Marty Ma, he is a, he's in my phone. That yeah. was the thing, like, yeah. the first time we we met, and it, it started happening, how we greet each other, like, all the time. It was like, Marty Ma. Big Willie. <laughs> 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 and like literally for 30 years, that's how we greeted each other every time we saw each other. It's so cool. I, I always think it's cool too when someone saves their number in your phone. That first day you meet someone, you never realize like how much you're going to grow with them and how your friendship's yeah. going to evolve. And when I think about when the two of you met, both of you had your own sitcoms on different networks. Mm -hmm. Martin was the one that was like, I want Will Smith to be in this movie. And Michael Bay said, I'm going to take you guys from sitcom stars to action stars. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that transformation? from sitcom star to action star and how it impacted your career? I think it, it really helped us uh, being sitcom stars because yeah, we, sure. we were able to to pick up on the fly. We yeah. could we could ad live, you know, we could study, you know, uh, uh, amount. Uh, lines, could be you can lines. learn, yeah, you can learn four pages in, in 10 minutes, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had all yeah. that going for us. Yeah. And then to have a director like Michael Bay, yeah. who was so, so good at making videos and everything, he's like a mad scientist, yeah. you know? And uh, so we just had the, all the elements to, mm -hmm. to put together to make a, a masterpiece. Yeah, the, time, the tempo was really important on Bad Boys 1. We didn't have a lot of time, and there wasn't a lot of money behind making the movie. So, be, you know, being sitcom stars, we were used to high speed, and Michael was coming from commercials. So, like, oh, you got 10 minutes? 10 minutes, we, we can get a great scene in 10 minutes. You know, we were used to letting it rip. It's so cool, too, because Michael really developed his editing style because of yeah. the lack of resources. Yeah, he was like sure. run and gun, and it's so cool to see how the three of you have just emerged through that. Mm -hmm. And just really seeing not only like your external transformation from mm -hmm. sitcom to action star, but your internal one, too. Mm -hmm. We see that happen through Marcus and Mike, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, they've yeah. grown up now, and I think, to me, this is the best bad boys yet. Like, Oh, we love that. I, I we'll really take that. I really truly yes. feel that yeah. way. Yeah, there's exactly. Some, there's something about this fourth movie that's so special, but I I haven't told you guys this yet. The reason why it's so special to me is because I'm actually from South Florida and these movies I, are just yeah. so synonymous with the mm -hmm. city. I love that you didn't mess with the opening. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. too, Will, I mean, you made the anthem to our city. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you, was working on these movies, is that what inspired the song Miami and how come yeah. we've never heard it in any of these films? Yeah, so yeah, we, we, we th probably thought that would be a little bit too uh, meta to put it in the in the bad boys movie. I've always been very careful with that with crossing the mm. the the careers in that way unless it's like specifically a song specifically for a movie. Um, but you know, Miami, that was our first time mm -hmm. in Miami when we were working on Bad Boys and Remember Prince's Club? <laughs> <laughs> so when we hit Miami, so Miami wasn't what Miami is today. So what was it uh, Glam Slam? Glam, Glam Slam. Slam. Prince had a club 
in Miami that was everything you could imagine a Prince club would be. You want to go to this club. <laughs> <laughs> Say more. Yeah, it, it was um, it was just the, the our first experience, and from the second that we touched down in Miami and we we hit Glam Slam, we were we were Miami fans forever. Do you guys have like a special memory like in Miami in general together, aside from like that club or? I just remember me and Will riding down the street to go to the club, and Will's in one car, I'm in another car, and we're out the windows joning, <laughs> cutting on each other, yeah. talking about each other while we're going to the club. Yeah. You know, but we get in the club, and I was uh, uh, getting ready to get married at the time. Yeah. So you were you were a little a little less um, uh, excited about being in the club. <laughs> the, the, uh, that, that I was too I mean, much temptation. You do, yeah. Because <laughs> if temptation. you if you remember, you said you told me first. You was like, no, I don't want to go. I was like, come on, man, it's Miami. Let's go. How are we not gonna right. go? And yeah. then we get in the club, and uh, some we can't probably talk about it on camera, but somebody made a gesture uh, right. towards you that you decided you was getting the the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Miami. I was yeah. trying to save my marriage. <laughs> I feel like I'm like talking to Marcus right now. That's amazing, yeah. Martin. I love that. And that was a part of the development of our characters right. too. We were yeah. out in the streets of yeah. Miami, and we like we were we were finding our energy yeah. there because yeah, because you you wanted to go home that night. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I respect also you, Will, not wanting to cross. You know, like. Yeah. Careers in that way, yeah. but I would love to hear the song Miami in one of these movies. Would you ever go back to music? You think or? Uh, I actually, um, over the past like year and a half, I've been in the studio, so oh, I have a, a project that uh, you know is the most uh, personal and powerful music project I've ever done. And actually, you brought that up, and uh, I will, I will give you this. I'm wearing this. This is the. Uh, Basically, the the thematic premise of my music. So I'm gonna give you this. Oh my God, Will! I'm gonna cry. Uh, <laughs> Wait, really? So it, it's that. And um, this says, the, what does it say? It's so so the idea of the music is uh, dance in your darkest moments. Oh my God. So that that one says dance in the darkness. Will, and this the, is so special to me. Thank uh, you for sharing that with me. That's the first one. That's a that was actually a prototype. I put it on wow. today. Wow. So it says dance in the darkness. Thank you. Right. I fully received this. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. Have you shared that with anyone that you're going to uh, be releasing nope, music? That's, this is the the first nope. time I've said it up. I seen it when he got it. Yeah. Oh you are the first to have it. Exactly. Wow, Martin, yes. thank you so much. It's yep. so special to me. You know, you've always been so inspiring to me, whether it's through lyrics or spoken word mm -hmm. and all the videos you post online, the anecdotes, the chess master to me has always really stayed, like really resonated oh, wow. with me. Love and it's that. a story about how you have to put pieces the pieces where you want them in your life and yes. how people's imaginations are so limited that they can't do they that. They can't do that. Yeah, that's a big one. It's a big one. So yeah. because you're a producer on Bad Boys, yeah. I wanted to ask you if you could put the pieces where you want them for the franchise, mm -hmm. what would that look like and how many Bad Boys movies would you guys want to make together? You know, one of the things we we decided and agreed like most clearly after Bad Boys 2 is that we would never make a movie that didn't have a reason to exist outside of being something cool for the franchise. Right. We wanted to make sure as bad boys in this that we had an idea of something we wanted to say, that mm -hmm. there was a premise behind the movie beyond wouldn't it just be cool to work together. Right. You know, and in this movie, you know, we can't can't talk about it too much without without giving it away, but Martin's character has an experience that you know, he gets uh, uh, he gets enlightened about uh, deeper realities of the universe, yeah. and the comedic version of he's trying to teach Mike uh, how to trust the universe. So 
I love being able to have a movie like Bad Boys that is a big, giant summer blockbuster, but at the core of it is about learning to trust the universe. Yes, and you yeah. always do that, and I noticed when you do that in the last film, the horse story, right? Yes, With Captain absolutely. Howard. Yes. I pick up on yes. all of it. So I just want to say, if you, even if this is the last one, if you guys do make more, obviously retirement homes are a staple of South Florida. Yes, both absolutely. of you don't age, so yes. please keep making more movies. Put Miami in it absolutely. if you want to. And yeah. Martin, I just want to thank you personally for making America laugh and making Shanene and characters mm -hmm. like Marcus and mm -hmm. Will I was wa when you guys came out and surprised everyone I was watching you on the big screen and there's a quality about you that we all feel when we see you on the big screen mm -hmm. in a blockbuster that makes people want to go to the movie so yeah. thank you so thank much you, thank you. thanks for being Appreciate you and thank you, you guys so much for watching thank my name is Naz Perez and tickets to Bad Boys Ride or Die are on sale right now on Fandango.com and I'll see you guys next time